and welcome to episode 4 of 3 out of 10, season 2. I'm Beth from Two Nerds on a Couch. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show! there you all are. Why aren't any of you at your desks? You're supposed to be working. Yeah, I'd love to be, but the servers are down. Without network access, we're stuck in an analog world. And Kevin won't let us erase the whiteboards. Look, it says do not erase right on it. What part of that isn't clear? Dude, you don't even know what that stuff means. That doesn't mean it's not important. Well, don't we have a network admin or something? Yeah, she works remotely from Argentina. We can't get a hold of her. Excuses! Go give the server a good kick or something. That's in Argentina, too. Look, sometimes servers just go down. It's Mother Nature's way. Not this time it isn't. It's not the server's fault. Someone sabotaged our modem. <gasps> Sabotage. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's only one explanation for all this. Um, there is? This is Bruce's handiwork. If Bruce thinks he can out-espionage old Jeb, He's a fool. You hear that, Bruce? You may think you're so smart, but there's a time for planning and a time for action. And a time for action planning. I'll be in my office action planning. Look busy, everyone. Don't let the scoundrels get to your morale. Um, okay, so who's Bruce? I don't know, some rich guy Jeb's been obsessed with forever. Who knows if he's even real? Yeah, well, maybe he's onto something. A lot of strange stuff has been happening. Javier exploded, Kevin's computer was stolen, that weird faceless guy showed up. And don't forget about Sally. And that's not even everything. I'm gonna go talk to Jeb. Hey Jeb, can I talk to you for a second? Is this important? Action planning is a priority one item. Bigger than priority one even. B priority two. Uh, yeah. So, Jonah and I found something weird the other day. She said it's a listening device. A what? A bug. A bug? Bruce has taken this further than I thought. He's relentless. Really? You think Bruce planted this? Close the door. And then make sure it's the closest it can be. You can't be too careful. Okay, so why do you think this Bruce guy planted this? Let's just say it's what I would do if I were Bruce and he were me and I wanted to steal my ideas. You see, Bruce runs a nearby game studio. Okay. Blood Diamond Studios. What? No way. Blood Diamond Studios? Shh. Not so loud. There may be other bugs. We should be stage whispering. You're joking, right? They're the biggest game dev on the East Coast. Whisper. Why would they care about us? They're massive. Yeah, because they stole their massive ideas from me. World of Catapults, big game, right? My idea! We can't let them take our shark surfing game thing, too. Dude, no one is gonna take our game idea. I know, cause you're gonna infiltrate them. What? No way, dude. You're in this deep now, and so is Joan. Both of you are going. I'm not gonna sneak into some big-ass game office just to find you proof of some conspiracy. Stage Whisper, who said anything about proof? I have all the proof I need right here! In your stomach? In my gut. I feel it. Deep down in my business acumen. You just need to deliver a message. You, Joan, I, I don't know, grab someone else too. Get to Blood Diamond Studios. Find Bruce and give him that. And I want you to look Bruce in those cold eyes and tell him, Jeb remembers. Jeb remembers everything. <laughs> now go. I need to do more action planning. Uh, I think Jeb is off his rocker, but all right. Uh, I don't think I want to go poking around Jeb's stuff. There's so many bugs on there. Jeb, why is there a spoon stuck in your monitor? Look, I don't want to talk about my computer problems. Don't get distracted, Ben. Kill the flies, Jeb. Jeez. I have no idea what's in these file cabinets, and I don't want to know. You tell Bruce, Ben. You tell him I remember. All right, who can we uh, gather here? Oh. 
What am I doing in here? I should be seeing who wants to come with me. Yeah, there's no way I'm going down to ask the engineers. I'll never make it back up. Hey, Kevin. You up for a field trip? Not unless it's a secret mission. I only have bandwidth for super cool secret missions today. Uh, well, I guess it is. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> All right. Ooh, let's take a look. Kevin's notebook. I am Alpha and Omega. I know the power of the bean. Okay. <laughs> Not sure what that means, but whatever. Hey, Pylon. Up for a field trip? Right now, my friend. I'm going to investigate this modem. A detective's job is never done. Yeah, you have fun with that. All right, so, uh, what about your, what about the meeting room? Anyone in here? Probably not, but I figured it's safe to to look. Maybe someday we'll use this meeting room again to, oh, meet. You think now would be the time since the internet doesn't work? I don't know what it is with pylon and ketchup or why he hides a bunch of bottles up there. Maybe we'll figure out one day, Ben. Maybe we'll figure it out one Wanna day. When I find out who added the sewer level to this thing, someone's gonna pay. Someone's in trouble. Let's try again. Destroy everything. to find this MIT 32C. Once I get Joan and some of the others, I can leave, but not yet. Are there any secret rubber duckies around here? Joan, do you wanna go? Hey Joan, you know that bug you found? Jab wants us to go investigate it. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, whoever made that bug definitely had Soviet training at some point. How do you know <laughs> that? You know what? Never mind. Just meet me at the door. Oh, Joan. Joan, Joan, Joan. You're something else. You know, I think this cactus belonged to Javier originally. I think he'd be happy that Midge is taking care of it. Hey, Midge, want to join me on a field trip? We found the planted microphone, and Jeb wants me to investigate. Oh, that's weird. It had a weird umbrella logo on it. Anyway, you in? Oh, uh, no. I've got a meeting later on, a doctor's appointment. Cool. Good luck with that. <laughs> hmm, it's Ben gonna be suspicious now. This is Blue Jay. You may not know it, but Blue Jays are the biggest jerks there are in the animal kingdom. Blue Jay lives up to his name. He's a terrible neighbor. He's the head of the HOA in his neighborhood. There you are, Timothy. Rolling around. Still no mid 32C. I don't know if I feel safe with even one hammer in this place. Intern. 
Hey, intern. You up for a drive? Sure, but can I be inside the car this time? And not in a stack with the other interns? Sure. I'll come back to you people later. Oh, hey, here's where my book went. I've been looking all over for this. Oh, so this is Ben's book, huh? Okay. Weird. It was behind you the whole time, Ben. Hello, New England. I'm Rebel Breeze, and today I'm introducing the dice bag, not Jade. Is your mind blown yet? Just wait until we start talking games, comics, and pop culture. Good intro, Breeze. Now, did I read the schedule right? Today we're talking about gaming history. What do you have for us? Okay, so get this. You know World of Catapults? Everybody knows World of Catapults. Right. What most people don't know is that World of Catapults was nearly a failure. Oh yeah, World of Catapults, Catapultopolypse, had an eight-player co-op story campaign, infinite procedurally generated landscapes, Huh, was fine, I guess. After five years of development, that quiet reception nearly killed the game. But then, on the cusp of defeat, Blood Diamond Studios added trebuchets. And gaming would never be the same. Screw trebuchets, overpowered nuke garbage. Everyone uses them now. Might as well call it the world of trebuchets. Right, but did you know that trebuchets were actually a bug? Oh, uh, no, I did not know that. Yeah, they accidentally pushed a bug live that made everything act more like trebuchets. People loved it, so they had to add real trebuchets after that. Oh, huh. Well, they are the best thing about the game. You just said you hated them. Uh, that was back when I thought they were on purpose. Everything is different now. Gamers sure are confusing. Yes, we sure are. Oh, here's the Mid 32C. Let's see what's on the old Mid 32C today. A meteor storm is heading for the moon of carrying the power cell powering the entire solar system of you have to dodge the falling rocks to escape certain doom of the entire race. Okay, we have to dodge the explosions. No stars. Try again. Let me know in the comments down below if you got a higher score than I did. I'm not touching the fridge. Sally's in there. But there's two rubber duckies. I guess there's a chance that all that coffee made Kevin super smart or something, but I really don't think so. Draw your own hug box. I guess I'm not actually getting anything productive done today. Hey, Timothy, you up for a field trip? I'm sorry. I can't do that. <sighs> yeah, well, can't see I blame you. 
Francine, Jeb wants me to go out and do some, uh, research. You want to come? Gee, I would. But someone has to go to the store and buy a new cable for the modem. Guess who that someone is? Uh, Timothy? I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> <sighs> and the intern's already coming with us. Uh, Viper. Time to talk to Viper. Hey, Viper. You actually getting work done? I don't need the network to make magic, okay? I just need me. Okay, I guess I'll let you focus then. Get going. All right, looks like this is everyone. I can't believe we're going to go through this. I know. I'm so excited. Me too. Where are we going? On a secret mission, intern. It's a need to know basis only. But worry not, for we are the ones who need to know. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, yeah. I'm going to need you to tone down the Kevin a bit. Okay, Kevin? Right. Cool. Let's get this over with. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Beth from Two Nerds on a Couch playing episode four of three out of 10 season two. Join me next time.